Hello guys, this is Hamoudi from Bilo Media. Welcome again to my channel. Today I will get you through this product. This is the SpeedyB Discharger. I will show you how to use it and what is useful for. So the power input of uh, this device is from 3S till 6S. So you can't use uh, 1S and 2S batteries. And depending on the battery that you are connecting the device to, you have a power of 30 watts for a 3S battery, 40 watts for a 4S battery, and 60 watts for a 6S battery. We will test uh, this in a moment. And in the box, it's a simple box uh, from SpeedyB, and inside we have the device itself right here. It's made out of plastic it's simple it has a battery lead right here for a 6s and an input xt60 input here and you have 3 to 6s uh, input and here you have a power button and the setting buttons and the screen and that's it in the box we also have this cable this is a balance extension cable and that's all what you have in the box this one will connect right here so it will be easier to connect a battery to the discharger let's plug a battery i have um, a big lion battery this is the 6s battery and we plug it right here And it says that we have 24.1. And if we plug the balance lead right here, here you can switch between the cells. So if I press it, short press it, I have the cell number one, 4.02, cell number two as well, three, 4.03, 4.02. 4.06 and 4.01 if you long press the settings button you will enter the discharge menu where you can set the discharge value that you want and if you press this button you will increase the value and the other button you will decrease it and to save the menu you simply long press again let's plug a device and see how this works Let's start with my phone. I have a USB-C here and here the iPhone plug. Now my phone is charging and if you press this button, you will see the total value of, uh, of the battery and here the voltage, the output voltage, which is five and here the ampere. So it's around two amperes, something like this. 2.5 and 5 volts let's try to power on my macbook which will take significantly more power and it's charging as you can see we have 24.2 volts still in the battery and we are charging at 20 volts at 3 amps which is roughly 60 watts let's try to put a smaller battery and see how much it uh, will output i have here a 4s battery so it is fully charged and if we put the macbook it is charged at 15 volts and 2.8 amps let's try to put a 3s battery we need an adapter for this 12.2 and here i have 11.4 volts and 2.868 amps which is nice so it is working and it is working nicely let's try uh, to put a 2s battery which will not work it should uh, throw an error message because it is rated from 3 to 6s so let's do this and as you can see it has an error message and it's turned 
off. I have here a battery that has a voltage that is under the 3.8 and it should uh, throw an error message as well. So it is beeping that it is under the voltage that we said that is 3.8 and it is not gonna work. I think it's very useful uh, device uh, to throw in your bag when you are out uh, with your drones because a lot of times we end up uh, charging a lot of packs and not using them and if you want to prolong your battery life you have to discharge it and of course you can charge another battery, lipo batteries or your devices and it's really really useful. So this is it for today guys, thank you very much uh, for watching and see you in the next one, thank you, bye!